All right, guys, today we're up at Arbor Homes. We're at the Monon Corner. We are going to be touring a few of their properties, but right now we're getting ready to go into the Palmetto, and I want to talk about this property here, give you a real quick tour, and uh, we'll go from there. So right now this property is a two-story property, and it is 2581 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, starting at 358995 So let's go ahead and go on in here and uh, show you what this one's like. I've already toured it, it's pretty cool. So I will give you an outside of the uh, shot video here in a few, but right now we've got a fence right there. Can't get you that outside shot. So let's go on inside. All righty here, so let me find my Okay, they consider this a living area right here. This is 11 by 12. I'm going into an open concept with a great room, the cafe. Now there is an optional sunroom that you can do off of here as well. But this, pro this property right now, price point at 358,995. There is quartz options that you can do for countertops if you'd like. We have a pantry back over here. And if you guys know me, you know I like pantries, especially a walk-in. This is kind of a, I couldn't close the door behind me, but it's still enough room where you can put your food up here and your small appliances. Plenty of linear counter space here, along with the island under Mount Sink. I would have liked to have seen this removed and have one giant seat there. No fireplace in this property. I'm sure you can get it. All right, so here is what is considered a study, which is 10 by 10. So you could put probably a couple bunk beds in here or just make it a, a study or sewing room or whatever just like they have it set up. A standard closet, no walk-in. We'll come around here, full bathroom downstairs with a walk-in shower. Come out to the garage. Standard two-car garage. I'm sure there is a third car option I'm digging the lights. I like the windows inside of the, the garages there. Right off the garage, you would have, there's no light in here, so anyhow, you would have your water softener hookup. You have your main shutoffs right there as well. So we've got three inch trim, looks like four inch baseboards as well. Three people here at this counter. Looks good. Hey, how you doing? Good. Blake. Blake, are you yeah. sales? Yes. 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 Okay. No My name's Devin. Okay. Sounds good. I'm, I'm sitting here just trying to look off the PDF okay. yeah. on what's going on yeah. here yeah. on this property. Okay. So, looks like we're at the Palmetto. And, yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good to see you. you at the last place yeah. we were at. <laughs> Must be a following, I don't know. <laughs> We're stalking each other. Yeah, yeah. So now, okay, real quick questions yeah. here. Um, I was just saying that there were, we had a sunroom option. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that option price is? $11,000. $11,000 for an enclosed sunroom? Mm -hmm. Okay, what if we just wanted like a, um, like it's a not enclosed, cover yeah, patio. cover patio. $8,000 $8, on that. Yeah. Fireplace. Got three to five, depending on what option. Is that a wood burner or a gas? We could do wood or gas or electric. Okay. I'm not turning this around because I didn't know how you were as far as being on video. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, quartz countertops upgrade? Yes. Uh, we started laminate. We have two centimeter quartz, and this is three centimeter quartz, looking at the four to five thousand range, depending. Everything's floor plan specific on the quartz, just depending okay. on the quartz. Okay. Is this LVP? Yes. yes. Okay. And it's a room by room selection, so normally we'd be. Carpet here, carpet in there, 
So we've cho chosen to make it all okay. final plan. Can you do French doors on this sure, or anything yeah, closed off? Yeah, okay. Less than $1,000 out of the French okay. doors there. Okay. All right, because I, I see that. I see that as a dining, but I also see it kind of a flex room. Yeah. Uh, instead of that room over there being a study. Yeah. Plenty of eating space with the, you know, the room for the table there. Yeah. Eating at the island. Okay, what size patios are, come with the property? Uh, our standard is going to be a three by three stoop. This is this is a custom one that was done by Vibrant Outdoors. Okay. Uh, that just to kind of showcase what they can do, but we can do ten by twelve or twelve by sixteen in terms of a, a slab, and then that covered patio will be ten by twelve. Okay, is the lighting optional with all the so recessed lighting? Is there yeah, in the kitchen? We've got four light standard. We've added the pendants. So there's some standard lighting, but then living spaces, so like great room and bedrooms, loft, that would all be added lighting. Okay, so what kind of things can Arbor Homes do? Can you, like if somebody would come in here, it's like I want to add more outlets, more lighting. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna design from the ground up. So they're gonna, we'll start with the base and then just kind of- You mind on. if I put you on camera? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna start with the base and then just work up from there. So we, okay. if they want to add extra outlets, if they want to, uh, outlet on the wall for a TV to be mounted, we can add that. A uh, place for a Roomba to plug in, whatever it might be, we can add those kind of outlets. So we do offer that customization. Okay, so what sets Arbor Homes apart from any other builder in this area? Yeah, yeah, the power of choice. Uh, we're gonna let the, the buyers, your clients, come in and pick and choose everything that, that's important to them. Um, you know, some have gone to, hey, they're including everything in the price. Well, that's great, but you're paying for things you don't care about. So ultimately, we let the buyers dictate the final price um, with their selections where taste, style, and preference meet their budget. So um, if something's not important to them, then why are we paying for it? Let's right. just leave it, gotcha. not, uh, not upgrade that. So, okay. um, you know, some people don't love our countertop selection, so don't pay us to upgrade your countertops. Do that after the fact, right. save that money. Yeah, uh, exactly. Where others are just going to throw it in. Yeah, yeah. Whether you like the selections or not. The front door, glass door, is that standard? It's an added upgrade. It's our first okay. level upgrade for that. So it's a solid door, yeah, two normal? Pan, two panel is what we've gone to on all of our doors. Okay. Um, like this yeah. door over here? Correct, yes. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, the backsplash, that's extra on that? Correct, yeah. Okay. Yep. Upgrade. And then the black stainless appliances are upgraded as well. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs if I get a question. Okay. What was your name again? Blake. Blake. Okay. Yes. All right, buddy. Thank you. Hey, no problem. All right, there you go. You got some information from one of the sales consultants out here. Be glad to make a personal introduction so that way you can have a VIP tour and sit down with one of their consultants to see if Arbor Homes is actually for you. Go down below, you can get all my contact information. All right, so this bedroom here, you know what guys, my phone turned off. So we've got, let me see if I can get that back up here. All right, we are in bedroom number two, which is a 10 by 11 with a walk-in closet. Digging that. This is bedroom three. It's 11 by 11. Nicely decorated. Walk-in closet as well. These walk-in closets are nice sized. Two panel doors. And we have a full bath upstairs with a tub. So we've got the fiberglass insert. Dual sinks. And we come over here to the loft, which is 10 by 13. Great area for, you know, they, they've got a, like a gaming setup up here. You could do um, a study area once again, just for the kids. Play area, it is large enough to be able to do all that. All right, we got our laundry area. You could take those down and put up some cabinets up there. Let's go over here, we got another. It's where all your mechanicals are. Gas, electric. And there's your gas shutoffs up there. Come in here, this is bedroom number four, which is 12 by 13, with a walk-in closet. Nicely lit, dual windows here.
I like the way they did the, the railing here. They didn't do a pony wall. I like this, so it makes it feel larger. That way you can actually see through. And if you're the parents down there, you can be yelling up here for the kids, okay? All right, now here is the primary bedroom suite, which is 16 or 17 by 16. I always put the larger number in front. We have a tray ceiling there. I'm sure it's an upgrade option. We have two walk-in closets. Guys, this would be yours. You know the drill. And here would be the women's closet. Attic access. Closet space is nicely, nicely done here. Palmetto, 2581 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, starting at 358,995. We have a party shower, big enough for two. A linen closet, water closet. I like it, guys. We got tile, dual sinks. I like it. I definitely like this. So let's go back downstairs real quick. And I'll take you outside to show the perimeter of the property. So these appliances, like he said, like Blake said, these are upgrades or black appliances. They are upgrades. Frigid air. But look at all this. 42 uppers. Look at all the cabinet space you got there. And over here. All right, guys, I'm going to do a real quick pan over here in the corner. All right, time to go outside and see what's going on there. I like this exterior. It is a farmhouse look. So I'm unclear what elevation this is. Let's go around the side real quick so that way you can get an idea what the rear looks like. The patio system they have back there along with the um, Here's the side of the house. Guys, something you need to think about. This is a corner lot here. I've never talked about it, but let's talk about it right now. A corner lot, you basically have two front yards to think about, to, to put landscaping and all that. So it's something to consider whenever purchasing a home. You really don't want a corner lot. Corner lots are less desirable. If you can get a lot on the main thoroughfare or on a cul-de-sac in the corner of a cul-de-sac, perfect. But when you buy a corner lot, you have this side, you want to take care of, make it look like your front yard, and the other side because people drive by and see this. So this is all upgrades, this is all extra. Something to think about, show you exactly what it would look out here. Nice windows. I'm digging it, guys. So there's the Palmetto for Arbor Homes. We're going to go over and check out another model. Stay tuned for that video. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Ah, oh, geez, somebody walked through that. That wasn't me, I know that. Uh, well, we're gonna see somebody's got some semen on their shoes. It's crazy.